All right, welcome back. So I'm just going to quickly show you um, how to take care of this here sensor fault on your Infocon Stratus uh, Tech D. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Don't really need any tools here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and turn the sucker off here. You see a sensor fault? All right. Now what you see here is this little button back here. Just want to mash that in. You hear it click? That means the bottom plate has been unlocked. Boom, there you go. So you got a battery, I guess, and a sensor. So here's our sensor module. So you can see, that's this, right? So it's me, it looks like you just pull that on that and that, pull it out. Yeah, that's all. Pull it on out. See there? Looks like it only fits in one way. Now we pop the new one in. But what you want to do first is take off this here orange. Did you see the one, the old one, doesn't have that orange rubber cap on it. It's just a plug in order to keep that thing from getting contaminated. All right, so you pop it back in there, boom. Lock it in. Okay. Now, here she goes. Now let's fire it up and test it out. I want to get away from this unit because this unit, I believe, is leaking. She should fire up. When the sensors failed, it takes a while to, to fire up. And let's see here. Hope that does it. Alright, a couple more seconds, I'm sure. Hope so, otherwise it's probably something else going on with the stupid thing. Aha! So there she goes. We're back. Now let's get into this call, guys. Okay. Let's see how good, good it works. Do we have a leak here? I don't know. I see. I feel like I... Oh, dang it. I feel like there's some oil. So... Definitely feels a little bit oily around this region. Gotta blow all this back. Sometimes what I will say about these, um, look at that. What I will say, you have to turn the system off so it'll build up some pressure when there's a leak in the suction line like this. But you can see the oil. It took me, it still took me a good while to find it just because 
it wasn't registering with my leak detector. But once I turn the unit, uh, once I turn the um, unit off, let it stabilize, let the low side get a little bit higher pressure, it started going off a bit. And it's really a, it's a very particular leak. There it goes. Try to find that with the. mirror inspection mirror but yeah see if we can get that thing going prepared and we'll see